Good day everyone and now I am going to present about the Cavite Mutiny. The Cavite Mutiny of 1872 was an uprising of military personnel of Fort San Felipe, the Spanish arsenal in Cavite, Philippines, on January 20, 1872. Around 200 soldiers and laborers rose up in the belief that it would elevate to a national uprising. The causes of the Cavite Mutiny can be identified through examining the different accounts in this historic event. But this time, we're just going to identify the two accounts of the mutiny. First is the Spanish account of the mutiny. Jose Montero Y. Vidal is a Spanish historian who interpreted that the mutiny was an attempt to remove and overthrow the Spanish colonizers in the Philippines. His account corroborated with the account of Governor General Rafael Isquidero Y. Gutierrez, the Governor General of the Philippine Islands during the mutiny. They mentioned that the mutiny was powered by a group of native clergy. Second, the Filipino account or version of the mutiny, account of Trinidad Pardo de Tavera. The event is just a simple mutiny since up to that time that the Filipinos have no intention of separation from Spain but only secure materials and education advancement in the country. However, the mutiny was used at a powerful level. Also in this time, the central government deprived friars of the powers of the involvement in civil government and in governing and handling universities. The Battle Their leader was Fernando La Madrid, a mestizo sergeant. They seized Fort San Felipe and killed 11 Spanish officers. The mutineers thought that the soldiers in Manila would join them in a concerted uprising, the signal being the firing of rockets from the city walls on that night. Unfortunately, what they thought to be the signal was actually a burst of fireworks in celebration of the Feast of Our Lady of Loreto, the Patron of San Paloc. News of Mutiny reached Manila. The Spanish authorities feared for a massive Filipino uprising. The next day, a regiment led by General Felipe Ginoves besieged the fort until the mutineers sur surrendered. Ginoves then ordered his troops to fire at those who surrendered, including La Madrid. In the aftermath of the mutiny, all Filipino soldiers were disarmed and later sent into exile in Mindanao. Those suspected of supporting the mutineers were arrested and executed. The mutiny was used by the Spanish colonial government and Spanish friars to implicate three Filipino priests, Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora, collectively known as Gumburza, who were executed on the Laneta on February 28, 1872. These executions, particularly those of the Gumburza, were to have a significant effect on people because of the shadowy nature of the trials. Jose Rizal dedicated his work, El Filibusterismo, to the three executed priests. The death of Gumburza awakened strong spirits of anger and resentment among the Filipinos. They grilled the Spanish authorities and demanded reforms due to the prejudicial governance of the Spanish authorities. Finally, a decree was made, stating there were to be no further appointments of Filipinos as parish priests. 